this guy that uh, is a subscriber. I hate using the word follower. I think the word follower is just such a, you know, as a, when we were kids, man, they, they taught us not to be followers. <laughs> now it's all about being a follower, but anyway. Bam. So this guy, uh, he, 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 he um, follows us. He's a subscriber on our Instagram channel, and uh, and we get, from time to time, we get uh, different, uh, you know, forwards of different ads on, on marketplaces. Marketplace is more, you know, central to wherever you're at, so it's hard to, you know, look up everywhere on Marketplace, right? And so we get a lot of people that send us ads wherever they're at, and uh, so we got this ad sent over to us, what, two nights ago? What is it, two nights ago? Night before last? Or, no, it was... Yeah, night before last. So, we got this uh, ad sent over. I clicked on it, and uh, it was a 68... You know, it was a car sitting in... It looked like it had been sitting there for 30 years. Who knows if it is. We'll find out as we uh, as we get there today. But it was a 68, 440, 4-speed, four Dana, all original. Looks all original. One repaint, but dilapidated. A uh, Charger sitting in a garage, and uh, uh, guy owned it since 1976, and so... I reached out to uh, Tony and, and Aaron, and we, we, we uh, kind of went back and forth on it, and then reached out to the seller, and uh, you know one thing led to another, worked the deal out with them, uh, sent a deposit, and uh, I drove up from California, and uh, Tony flew in from Texas, Yep. and so we're going to go over to uh, check this thing out, and um, well, I mean, buy it. Essentially, yeah. I mean, we don't really go places unless we're planning to buy it. We're Pretty not lucky lose, but we're gonna go. Uh, hopefully, it's everything we think it is. Yep. Uh, it would be amazing, especially on a '68 to have a build sheet. It's supposed to be a solid California car. It's supposed to be numbers matching. It's got power windows. It's got an eight track. We know that. We haven't seen the fender tag. We've we seen the corner of it. We know it's it doesn't there. look like it's ever been removed. We know there's a fender tag there. Yeah, we know there's a fender <laughs> tag. The seat was out yeah. so we're not sure if it's gonna have a build sheet but if it does on a 68 that's super important yep um but uh tony's pretty familiar much more familiar with the uh fender tags than i am um he's i don't know he's been studying since he was like i don't know three years old <laughs> anyway um so we'll get there we'll go over the fender tag as well 68 is a little bit more daunting task the way that they set it up versus some of the codes on the 69 and uh, you know, and, and after that, so we'll we'll see how it is. But we think it's a rare color. We think it's a what they call EE one, which is a the darkest blue. Which I've only seen. We've two. only ever I've yeah only we've seen two. We've only ever looked and at that's all two. And for this one to be a four forty four speed, which we were talking earlier, I didn't think we'd ever even had a chance to buy a four forty four speed sixty eight. We have sixty nines, but sixty eight and sixty eight. Um, they made like 27, 2800. Yeah. Um, so they're not, in the Mopar world, they're not rare, but they're... They're definitely not they're, common. They're not common to find. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. And I don't know if it's just that they got beat up more because they were the... Because remember, back then, you had to pay extra to get an automatic. If somebody was buying that four-speed, they were taking it... They were going out there for a reason. And so maybe there's just less of them that survive because um, back then they were just cars. Uh, but anyway... We got this opportunity to pick up this blue on blue. We're hoping EE1. Yep. Uh, but it could be UU1. Or QQ. Uh, no, Q, Q, QQ1. Yeah, QQ1's closest it's to It's probably not UU1, which is the lightest color. Yeah. Uh, but we think it's the EE1. Yeah. And if it is, that's... I, we, I, with power, power windows? Power windows, 8-track, console. I, I think that'd probably be the only it's one. It's got a white stripe. Just based on that color and the power windows yeah, and, the, and the blue there's interior, probably not there's probably not. One. Um, yeah, I mean, never say never, but exactly. Anyway, um, so yeah, so this gentleman um, has had it since 1977, like we said earlier, and uh, has a few other cars there he's selling as well. Don't think we're interested in any of the other ones, but we did bring a three-car trailer just in case. <laughs> so you <laughs> so never know. You never know. We come prepared. Um, well prepared enough until we get there and find out we're not prepared um so uh yeah 68 blue on blue four speed 440 dana it'd be crazy if it was a 410 dana did they do they did the they did both of them 354 and 
410s. I don't know much about the six because we've never bought one. Yeah, I don't actually know. I don't usually learn about them until we actually bring one home. It's my. I think uh, they did a 410. I think you could get a 410 Dana. That'd I be think. crazy if it had a 410 Dana in there. What's the code for a 410 Dana? I'm in 68, I have no idea. Yeah, that's going to be interesting to see that tag and try yeah. to decode it yeah. on the fly. I'll be able to walk up to it and go, it's this color, so weird. it's a four-speed, and it's an yeah. RT. But I just learned on the 70, what is it, 71s, they all are A34, even if it's an automatic yes. super track pack. Yep, they changed they're, that. They're, yeah. So and a 410 every, Dana learned, had the same code regardless day. of transmission after in right. 1971. Right. But um, And there's beautiful downtown Seattle. Look at that. I've been here. I went to the Pikes Market or whatever they call it over there. The only other time I was here was to go look at that green mud top dart that we didn't buy. I was telling <laughs> that Aaron we that story on that the way we over here. Bought, that then he messaged me back. See how much it sold for? <laughs> <laughs> you, that's like I'm saying, you dummy. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he said that. He goes, you probably should have bought it, huh? I'm like, yeah, I guess so. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> So then once we leave here, we head back to California, we drop this car off, we load up five cars, and we head to Texas, and on the way to Texas, we're going to pick up a 1971 triple black Super B. Yep. Three, automatic. Yep, 383 3, 3 automatic. 383 automatic. We believe it's numbers matching, but we won't know until we get there. It's been bumped in the front, but other than that, it looks pretty solid from Arizona. Um, yep. That's the other thing that's crazy. This car we're picking up today has black plates. Yeah. California black plates. So we're in Washington, but this is a California car. I wonder if it still has the California title. Oh, well, he, he's had it for so long here. Yeah, I but think. I don't know if he ever used it here, you know? Yeah. You bring it up here, put it in a garage. That thing doesn't look like it's moved in that's true. 25, 30 years. Ooh, yeah. So, But yeah, 15-hour drive, man. 15-hour. It was a haul. Hot shot. Yep. And... Uh, it's funny that first day when you go out on a chase, the adrenaline. Yeah. You could drive literally you're all, like you're all amped you could up. literally drive for like two days, <laughs> not even sleep. Um, not that that's safe, but <laughs> it's that adrenaline of what's behind door number one. Yeah. What's behind door number two, um, and different different cars that we found throughout the years and stuff like that. And then what what it leads to, like we're up here in Seattle. Yeah. We're. Uh, Gonna go see this car, which is what about an hour and a half above Seattle, yeah, and about, then yeah. and we've had happen how many times we show up to one place and go, oh my friend, he's an hour away, he has this and this, and then we go over there and all of a sudden, and we don't even end up out of the same little area for three days. Yeah. So it's uh, it'll be interesting to see what this one leads to. A lot of times, um, you know, every every Mopar guy has a friend. Yeah. And uh, so. Or they have 10, 10, they either have a friend or they have 10 Mopars. <laughs> yes. One of the two. Yeah. So, but, you know, a friend selling one or a friend wanting to sell one or whatever. There's yeah. always somebody else. There's always something else. But anyway, am I going the right way? Yep. I'm sure I don't screw this up. This is when all the lanes get all hushed, mushed together. Where is the space in the lane? There it is. You, you getting this, Aaron? So, um, so this guy's a hot shot driver. We wanted to come up two days ago. We were ready the night of. We were going to jump in the car that night, head up here. We were super excited about this car. And uh, but he's a hot shot driver, so he 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 transports different things. And he wasn't going to be home till Friday. So let's just hope it's not a scam. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of scams nowadays. You never know. Yes, you let's think hope it's, it's not. not. You did all your checks and balances, make sure somebody's legit, and all of a sudden you show up and they're like, "No, there's no charger here." <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's one thing to lose the deposit. It's another thing the cost of getting here. Yeah. And the time. So. Yes. Very true. I've had dinner up there. I think they have. I think. I think that's where we went. There was one in in. Uh, I think it's Dallas that's way up there. Talking. Yeah, that's where you need to Dallas, Reunion you? Tower. Yeah, we were up, we went to dinner there. Dude, you're way up there. Yeah, that's what, that's where you guys were drinking the crazy bottle of wine, right? No, that was a different place. But oh, that that's was, right. That's that right. was uh, crazy. Yeah, that was crazy.
It's one thing when you're cruising and you think you're going down the freeway and you're gonna get off and drive in a few blocks, but dude, we've been off the freeway for like an hour. Yeah. I don't know, is it door one, two, or three? <laughs> I think it's door one. I think it's this one, actually. Oh, there we go. That's what a charger looks like. <laughs> That's amazing. The black plates make it even cooler. Yeah, yeah. Those so did you ever have the car registered in Washington? It is, no. e A, it is, it is EE1. No, it's, it's never been. There you go, Troy, there's your answer. What's that? <laughs> never registered in Washington. Brought it up Ow. on a trailer, um, and we pushed it in here, and here it is. You guys need a rag, or? It's got an 83. And then a three. And it's got an EE1. What about next to the 83? Is it a three? And it's got a three. That means it's four speed. Oh, there's your front plate though, right? Yep. Yeah, we saw it in the pictures. And oh. we saw the, we saw the corner of the fender tag in the picture, so we knew it had a fender tag, but we didn't have a copy of it. it. Yeah. And you weren't home. Yeah. Go. And then, uh, so it's got the Give RT. Put it on there. Put that. Oh, sorry. This course bolt's rusty, but right there. Sixty nine, baby. <sighs> 69. 3769. So it's legit. Yes, sir. Alright. I don't think it's been painted, dude. You said it was painted once, right? Painted in the rear corner. Oh, okay. I think this because I'm looking over here, this looks like original paint. Wow, how long you've had this since 76 or 77? 77. Yeah. Yeah. Has it always been like this? No. Or you had it, you were driving oh, it, no, no, you no, enjoyed no. it? I've gotten $40,000 worth of speeding tickets, etc. <laughs> <laughs> this, this baby. Mine were all registration uh, oh, uh, no, tickets, no, no, no. but yours was speeding, huh? Oh my God. So, Dude, EE1 blue is super rare. Right? Super rare color. And then to have blue interior, power windows, 444 speed Dana, all numbers matching, and, that's, and that's mostly original paint. Factory we're in. I've never touched yeah, it. You've never touched it. I've never touched it. I had the transmission rebuilt because the but synchros. But it's the original transmission. Transmission. But the synchros were replaced. That's all the guy did. The engine came out. Uh, a friend of my dad had just opened uh, an engine shop, and I told him, I want this block back. He's like, Yeah, no problem, Steven. Look, it's the only 440 I got in the shop. Yeah. And I said, yeah, okay, as long as I get this block back. And he mildly uh, flowed the heads. He did not port them. So they're... Do you know if he bored the... The cylinders? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah he did. Um, so when I bought the car, my dad loaned me the $3,000 for the car. That was a lot of money back then. It was. And a lot of money to owe your dad. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So um, I've got... Paid off well, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, appreciation on, anyway. Yeah, so, on anything, really. Right? On anything, really. So, I've gotten wow. about $40,000. I figure I've sent a cop to the academy <laughs> with, with the money I've spent on traffic <laughs> tickets. I got to the point where I knew the judge in the Alhambra courts. Uh, he knew me, like, waved to me and talked to me and me, my wife and all that. And, you know, nice stuff guy. He did his job. I did mine. Mine was painting streets with tire rubber. <laughs> <laughs> so, how... 
Where where did you live when you owned it? Temple City. Temple City, California. Okay. And Do you know where that is, Troy? I think that's Southern California, right? It's uh, about... But inland? It's by Los Angeles, like just yeah, south of Los is. Angeles. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. My buddy had a 66 blown uh, Mustang, 302, with a little Paxton, you know, looks like a, yeah. a, a, a pot. Yeah. Right? He had one of those. We were out drag racing, you know, all the time. Uh, it was always a good car, always got a lot of attention. Uh, Did you ever race it at Lions or any no, of the racetracks down there? But there was there was a track, a roundy round, out there off River Grade Road. I think it I think it was El Monte, but I'm not really sure. And we went down there at night and you know, I'm not gonna throw anybody under the bus, but we had supervision <laughs> <laughs> to make sure we didn't misbehave too much. <laughs> and uh, it was good times. It was it was really fantastic. Uh, the car's always been good. I have a bunch of Mopar keys, or maybe they're, I don't remember. I mean, for it not to be rent, rusted out in the rear window. Yeah. 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 You know, Let's you see. can obviously see that something Those happened here, Chevy. like you're talking. Yeah, that there might you be go. Chevy. I don't really know. Um, I'll let you look through them. Oh, and there are mouse traps around, so please watch your feet. Got it. I gotta see they this. They do like to bite. <laughs> yes. Um, one of the problems I found with the car was the rear main caps would twist and break off. So I had a set custom made and put grade eight bolts in there. I wow. haven't had any problem with them since. Of course, I haven't drive, driven the car. When's the last think... time that it was running? I've been here five years, probably 15 before that. 20 years? 20 years. 20 okay. years. And it's, okay. been, it's been in the garage. Unfortunately, this is all, you know, California summer. Yeah. I don't but, see any more parking. But there doesn't seem snow. to be any real rust underneath there. It just seems like it's just well, yeah. No, it's okay. When it's been up here, it's this is its home. Yeah, it's been in here the whole time. And the rest was California in a garage, so no, there should be zero rust in it. You got the keys? No, I'm sorry, I don't. But it's not that hard to go through the back seat. Okay. Yeah, you've already got it popped. So right, it's... been there, done that. Did right? you look and see if there was a build sheet in it? Under the seat or in the back of the seat? I or have anything? it, but you're welcome yeah. to. Okay. That's so rad to see the power power windows on this Look thing. how nice the, the dash is. Like all, like all of this. And it's the a track. track is in there. Yeah, that's factory. You know, I, I know you guys know, but you know, it's always been a... San Diego County AAA. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Can we just push this up and see if it's there? I looked in that one, it's not, not there. But the bot it might be in the bottom. Or under that carpet. Or under the seat. The front seat. Which we're obviously not gonna do that. I can crawl under there and look though. No, I Did mean, you get any paperwork, like seats. original stuff when you bought it from No. Okay. No. It was a nine it was an eight year old used car at that point. So right. I figured, but Yeah, yeah. So they must have painted the whole rear of the car. They may have because because this is this not, is clear coated and yeah and yeah it was clear coat coming off over here too yeah so it must have been painted the whole car but why isn't it or maybe they painted the bottom part because this wouldn't have been clear coated from the factory I don't remember it being clear coated but that doesn't look clear coated I wonder if they blended it in with some clear coat that doesn't look clear coated what's this does it look like yeah, but look at this scratch. There's blue underneath the scratch. Uh, so maybe it was repainted the whole thing. Which is yeah, right to be here. expected. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was working night shift and I got kind of a hair to put that tunnel that uh, high rise Edelbrock on there and the Holly. So I pulled the carburetor off to start tearing it down when I came home from work at like one o'clock in the morning. And yeah. then I got sidetracked, distracted, whatever, and I closed the hood, and my dad went out to start the car to move it in the morning so he could go to work, and it lit a fire in the padding. Not a severe fire, but you know. So I took the hood off, pushed the car in the back so that I'd be out of the way and I could work on it, and one thing led to another, the hood stayed off, the carburetor was off, and I got rainwater in, in um, this motor with less than 500 miles on the rebuild. Uh, that's a bummer. That wasn't the words I was using. <laughs> no, I can imagine so, that's not the words. Um, 
it sat there for years. You mind if I use the starting? Do food? what you need to do. Okay. And uh, then I moved out to Riverside, California, and I just didn't have the time and the money, or you know, whatever. To, to rebuild it again. I mean, I just finished the rebuild. Uh -huh. And so, you know, that's where it sat. And when I came up here, we trailered it. Um, that was kind of an epic trick uh, in and of itself. And then we pushed it in here. Does, is there a D on the pad? Did you look at that? First? I did not look at that. Okay. This is the hardest, the hardest Mopar to the, <laughs> find the number because it's 68. 68s were on the top of the on the top of the engine in the rear next to the right. oil pressure sending unit. And you can't see it. And you can't see it. Right, right. Um, just look and see if it's got a yeah, D there first. Just to Can you get in there with your camera? And, yeah, and that's, see what it? I'll, that's what I'll do next. Oh, okay. But if it doesn't have a D on the pad, it's not 68. There's no sense in doing all the work. That's... Uh, so you got a D? Screwdriver? No, you need something to scrape, scrape it. To scratch, scratch with or something? Yeah. Well, does that help? Or does that help? Either end of that. Let me try that. Let me get by here real quick. Yep. I've got an actual scraper. You know, it had a razor blade in it? Yeah, we actually yeah, have some razor it's, blades. Yeah, it's, it's D. It's D? It's a D440. And awesome. what that means, for those out there wondering, so well, that's the that's it, the year code in relation to the, the motor when it was assembled slash put in the car. So basically a D440 means 1968, E would be 1969, F is yeah. 70, G is 71, etc. Yeah, so that D Starts right there. That D four forty means this is a sixty eight four forty. So without looking at the number, that, that you can't gives see this. the HP. Well, that's what I'm getting at right now. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that. You want sandpaper? No, I think I'm okay now. Huh? This little. It looks uh, looks more official and more primitive, and we use things right, we're not supposed right. to. Yeah. <laughs> it's like MacGyver. Like using a factory jack. Yeah, I think I can <laughs> to change a wheel <laughs> in a storage unit. Yes. I think I can see the HP. Okay. Okay. So now we'll so we do... figure out if that. Is we'll get this on. Oh no! That's what I want. Video. Do you have sandpaper? Ah, probably. That would help, I think, back here with Let's the motor. There yeah, there may be paper in here, actually. I mean, there's enough junk here. And it's possible I even have eight tracks left. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking is, you know, hey, put a battery in this thing and, and play the eight track, right? <laughs> if it's easier on you guys, You're welcome to use that too if you want. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's see, sandpaper, huh? Dude, it's like, gotta be like the worst spot. I know. I flew him all the way from Texas for him to scrape this thing. Hey, so he's, def he's definitely go he's definitely going to do this because otherwise it was. Uh, <coughs> I think this was better for him than me. What really, you know, from coming all the way up here from Texas and doing us all all the hard work, you should get the first drive after the restoration done. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's pay, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I drove. I drove from. Uh, He's not stingy about letting me drive the cool one. So. Yeah, I drove from California down near the Bay Area. Yeah, and, San Francisco, uh, right? Yeah, and Aaron. Yeah. Aaron flew in from Oakland, right? Okay. And then uh, Tony flew in from Texas. I think it's underneath this little pressure center. Let's 
So does it have a California title? Yes. Yeah, I wish I could get you the original pig slip. Yeah, the tie, the plates, unfortunately, without something that shows them on paper. Right. Is, is there an old registration or anything in the car? I'll look. What's wrong? I just dropped the thing on the ground. That. Okay, now let's crawl the ground and grab it. Oops. Okay. Let's try this again. It's almost like the block is rusty or something. I don't know. I can't quite. Hmm. God, I think that's it. Where? I don't see it. That right there. Here you go. Wire brush. Oh, that nice. is exactly what I wanted. That I couldn't get any better. I even have gloves if you want. Uh, they're not clean, but nah, they're probably... we're, we're good there. All right. See, that's, that's one of the pluses. Shh, don't listen. I'll have a little more room in here. Yep. That's it? That's it. I can make out three digits. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'll, keep, I'll do a little more scraping, but that's, here, watch, I'll show you. If it's three digits, it is. No, it I'm going to keep scraping, pal. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff, no. I'll just pick it up and move it over a bay and... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, at least Three, four, seven, nine. So what do you think? Did I sell a car today or what? <laughs> well, if, yeah. if you say yes, I'm going to start moving the material. Yes. Well, we're going to do all that on camera. So yeah. Okay. So yeah. Hold, right. on. Yeah. Yeah. hold off on that. And we'll do a lot of the work. So we don't go not to buy. Okay. I like seven, that. Nine, That's... Nine, five. I can't believe we keep finding these things sitting like this. Why? I mean, you just think they would all be pulled out by now. I, There's still so many. You, you know, I cut my fleet in half probably before I left. Yeah. Like I said, I knew scrappers and they were taking cars like, like that Nova was in the crusher. Oh, yeah. And, and they were crushing them at $300 a ton. I know. And like, yeah. And they thought I was a complete idiot when I gave them 400 bucks for that Nova. <laughs> and I said, you're right. I am. Here's 400 bucks. See you. I'll take that ton. Six, yeah, <laughs> 68 Camaro, same thing. They scrapped it. 72 oh four-wheel drive. Oh, my gosh. Chevy pickup oh. truck. I know. I hear those old stories all the time. Yeah. And even from guys that work for us, like Bill. He tells us about cars that they parted out. Yeah. Dan tells us about cars that his family parted out, like six-pack Cudas and shit like that. It's crazy. Is that suburban over there? Yeah, it's 100% correct. I've seen all eight digits. You say five years have been sitting in here, but 15 Five before? here, probably 15 in California. In California. In Southern California, yeah. Okay. When, when I moved out, you know. So you've only been up here for five years? Yeah, about five. Yeah. Which is probably really 10 in no. today's world. Yeah. <laughs> we think it's five and right, right. COVID happened, you know, five years ago. It seemed like everything went, times just warp speed. The older I, I get, me. the faster it goes. Huh? You're you're me. Already? Yeah. We think it's been sitting here five, and then you look at it and you go, damn, it's been 10 years. Right? Yep. But, but, uh, uh, uh literally hasn't ran at least 20. Oh, yeah, at least 20. At least 20. Yeah. And last registered, and was the tag set? There you go. 84. So, that was last year, it was on the road. Whoa. My dad was 19. I was 11. <laughs> I was. Way in the future. You were 21. Point. We were sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely this, sideways. This one and I were completely sideways through many, many. I think I did donuts in every single intersection in Temple City. I think that this is, I mean, I, nobody knows because of like records myself. and stuff like that. Yeah. But I would be, I would, oh, it would be, I'd be hard pressed to believe that there's another power window, blue interior, EE1. Blue, 68 Charger, RT, four speed. Have you looked in the trunk? No, because you don't have any keys. Look in the back seat. I saw all the magazines. Well, What's, there, there should be an almost sterile trunk mat in there, front, front Dodge. 
Gotcha. I mean, I know it's not much, but it's it's something. No. And I think there's a red line E tire in there. Oh, so the original factory. I never had an E spare for it. is in there. Yeah. Yeah. Because they burn. What wheels are on here? Oh, Magnums. Yeah, crazy. So they made they made between 27, 2800, uh, four speed, 440, 68 RT chargers. They made less actually of the 383. They only made like less than 300. And you have one of them. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, actually, we've been chasing cars for a long time, so you know, full yeah. disclosure, yeah. we chase cars all over the place. Yeah. We've brought home more Hemi four speeds than 440 four speeds. This is the first 440 four speed that we've ever purchased. Yeah. And we've probably bought what over 200 second gen chargers. Probably. Tony. We probably over the years, over yeah. the last probably seven or eight, ten years. This is, we, I've only seen two other 68 chargers this color, personally. I'm not saying they didn't make right, them. I'm right, not right. saying they're what so you rare saw. that it's like hen's teeth. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. you just don't see this color. This yeah. color is a very unusual color. Um, and to have it with a four-speed power windows, A-track, blue interior, you know, you throw all that stuff in there and it's it, it narrows it down to being, a you know, very, car. very rare. Are know? these the right road wheels for this car? The reason I asked was... No. That's what I was afraid of. They should be solid chrome. It's, they didn't do a trim ring like these and, and, until 69. He's the, he, he, he's he's the been guy. Sit, he's been sitting at his house since he was three years old learning to read. There you go. And uh, learning about these cars. Okay. So Good. He knows all the little specifics his dad's been teaching him forever. Hey, that's, that's a good dad. Yeah, absolutely. So even though this vinyl top's destroyed, the, yes. the metal underneath it is solid. Because it, it's just heat. Yeah, it's extremely solid. I was wondering about that. Somebody replaced it, huh? Yes. Because okay. it doesn't have the right... <laughs> okay, here, here's... Yeah, it doesn't have the right... Uh... What happened was the... Other... So they painted it and put a new vinyl top yeah. on it. Yeah, and, and I was extremely clear about if you can't, because it was just starting to crack a little bit, right? And I said, if you can't give me the factory pattern, don't they, touch it. Yeah. And they just slapped one on. And you see the RT goes right here. They didn't even put the emblems in it. Yeah. And the emblems they did put are wrong. Oh, it's come off. They painted that with nail polish. Red nail polish. Well, like that's not to this car. All right. Putting ahead of RT there. Steve, mm -hmm. you're not a liar. This numbers match. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got a Dana. I didn't look yet. And it's got the factory Hemi mufflers. You can tell by the dent. Again, the back end on this end of them. See how they're dented in by yep. the dry shaft? Yes, sir. Those they are Hemi mufflers. They to fit the shaft. So those are factory mufflers for whatever that's worth. It sounds good. <laughs> All right. You got it? Yes, sir. Okay. Appreciate the car. Thank you. I appreciate you guys coming Absolutely. down and telling me about, you know, telling me Absolutely. about it. Yeah. It means a lot to me. The car means a lot to me. And to learn this stuff, uh, you know, I really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. You know, I love what I have. Yeah. I know. So, I know. It's going to be tough to watch this thing get pulled out, I'm sure. You got to get Don't that. Don't Aaron. Do the happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> the, the daughter's like. <laughs> she's like, what? Come when, on, hey, Megan. Hey, when she's 20, she's going to be like, you did what, Dad? She's going to be like. You did what? <laughs>
I couldn't get the butter knife in the slot to turn the lock enough. So I found these new old stock diamond wire cutters and I cut the package open with my butter knife and then used the pliers to turn the rod on the lock when we popped the trunk. So now we're into the trunk. We can check the number. There's an SO number that matches the fender tag. The core support kind of ties the body tag and everything to the actual body of the car with the number that's under this. So we're gonna scrape that off right now and make sure it matches. And maybe there'd be a registration in the trunk of this car somewhere that, and is my light messing your camera up? Okay. Yeah, so the 05376 should match the fender tag. 05376. 05376. Yeah, so there's just one more digit that I didn't. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's there. Yep, okay. What's up, bud? Got the trunk open. SO stamp is there. Okay. All right. Yep. Thanks, dude. Yep, yep. Right, bye. bye. I'm a little itchy from whatever was in there. I guess we can dig through all this crap while we're waiting. A couple extra magnums. Hey, and all four tires hold there. That's cool. I'm like almost never happens. Did I crush his diploma? What did I crush? Adult education. Blueprint reading. Just gonna have to get that one reframed. Hopefully there's not chest glass in my chest. Look, it ties into the hubcap we saw earlier. Oldsmobile. <laughs> Department of Motor Vehicles. Oh, there's gotta be a registration in this trunk, dude. If we find a registration, that's, I'll make Troy all the much happier. Okay, that's empty. Turning point. Time for sadness, gladness, fear, fun, relief, hope, letting go. Kind of like today. Yeah. Uh, our graduates, 1982, June 10th. Wow. Hot Rod Magazine, February 1979. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh. That was it. Like it huh? Damn it. That was a that was a big psych right there. Oh, this is a this is a stack of speeding tickets. Violation yeah. conviction date. You can read what he did. Oh shit, he got his, he got his license suspended. There was an accident. We found, we found literally a person's birth certificate, but we can't find the damn registration? <laughs> You're kidding me. Order of reinstatement. Oh, he got his driver's license reinstated. Nice. Wow, it took him, unless these are separate, it took him two and a half years.
Okay, you tell me which way I need to steer to not hit that stuff. And then I'm gonna have to dodge this door. All right. Here, let's straighten it out. Hang on, hang on. This way? Hang on, let me get my arm through that way. There, right there. Okay. Yeah, I've lost control, so. Huh. Do you want to crank it around now? The grill's in great shape. Yeah. Did you get the door open on this side? Yeah. Oh yeah, that all looks good. Okay. I found that. Found the eight track trim piece. I looked up underneath there for a build sheet. Hey, you caught the seat all the way to the seat. You don't want to tear that seat, right? No. So cool to have the power windows. Yeah. There's that original paint right there. Okay. Yeah, crank the wheel to the left and go back now. Right? Yeah. We're gonna put it on straight, right? Yeah. Okay. All the people they're gonna say this is staged because we only have to air two tires up. Right? Not enough dirt on it, right? Yeah. Oh, it's dirty enough. So they're gonna say, ah, it's staged. Hey, those tires all there. Yeah, and it rolled. Yeah. They're not gonna believe it because it rolled because they're used to Missouri. <laughs> ah, this is California gold. Yep. Yeah. No Crank it. We don't realize up. that. I forgot what it looked like. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <coughs> oh, there. Oh, the grill's not bolted in, dude. Is that the, that's the dipstick, right? Do you want to take that too? Yeah. It is. Right? Ah, yeah, it's fine there. Okay. All right. Okay, so, XS29, Charger RT, 83 is a 444 barrel. Three is the code for a four-speed manual. If it was an automatic, it'd be uh, <clears throat> a five. This is the axle code. So, one of these two codes means well. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it up. It, it basically there's two numbers and it's the differential and then the uh, the gear ratio, more or less. Uh, C6B is the blue interior this car has. EE1 is the dark blue, like Troy said. 412 is the scheduled production date, so that's uh, April 12th. This. 053769 is the SO number, shipping order number. That's the number that matches here on the course port. And then also the number on the trunk that we scraped off once we got it open. 
And then <clears throat> I'm not as keen on these, but like all these little numbers is like the power windows, the A track, uh, the console, all that's going to be in this. And then, um, It doesn't look like that's ever even been off. Uh -uh. There's like a little inspection staff underneath that screws that come with that bulges, but all numbers she's, a power, matching. she's a power steering, manual brake car, numbers matching, engine trans, original Dana. Power window. Yeah, really track. solid California car. Dana. All she that. checks all the boxes. Yes, sir. And killer color combo. Killer color combo. <clears throat> the color combo is the deal. Yeah, she's... That's the deal. That's the, the deal. color Because well, of the fact that this blue is just not that and the four speed well i mean with that yes if it wasn't the four speed it, didn't, it, it wouldn't even wouldn't matter as much yeah the four speeds everything yeah. yeah yeah i mean like i said we've 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 at least pulled 200 chargers yeah chasing them yes and this is the very first 444 speed that we've bought. 68. 68, 68, yep. sorry. 444 speed that we've bought, and to get it in this color is pretty cool. Super, and numbers matching. Yeah, numbers Super matching. Cool. There was another one that we almost bought, it was a copper color, Yeah. Um, but they said it was numbers matching, they said some other stuff, and it was- It had some body kind, damage. It was and kind of boogered together, and it just- it, it Wasn't worth it. It just wasn't, Yeah. we we, we, uh, we had other places to put the money. Right. And so we didn't buy it. Yeah. But uh, this is the only other time that we've had the opportunity to buy a 444 speed 68 RT. And I'm not saying they didn't make a lot. They're just hard to find. Yeah, for whatever reason. You know, they yeah. made 28, 27, 2800 of them total. Yeah. Um, and you know, like Hemi cars, they only made 212 Hemi four speed 68s. And we've run across more of those than, than this. this. Yeah. So, um, so definitely a cool find, a beautiful country. Wow. Yeah, yeah gorgeous. Is. The Driving sights are back beautiful here up here. was unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Are the best straps in here or in the box, right? Well, this is your first bath in 12 years at least, whatever, yeah. seven years. Okay, so we got that. Hood's latch. There's a, I ran a strap through the center of the support of the hood. Okay. And then under the K member. Let me go back. Good. I think I have. Watch your watch head out. again. Yep. Oh, yeah. I Trust me. They Run don't my move. head many times. There you incredible. go. That was incredible. That was incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. Open up. Yeah. Open up that garage. Oh, oh perfect. There we go. All right, cool. Trying to figure out where the oh, this, yeah, this fender's hammered. So. There, that's why I was gonna put that side on that side. There you go. But, well, it's definitely gonna be washed. That's what I say. It's the first bath we've <laughs> had in what 15 years, or something like that. 15 or 20 years, depending yep. on hey, depending on how you remember it. Today, because at the end of the day, 15 years happened like a yesterday. blink of an eye. Yep. All good hey. stuff. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you again. We yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate the car. Good deal all the oh, way through. Oh, we have something for you. Yeah, his Almost microphone. Forgot. No, no, no. We, we brought you a jacket. Well, I managed to make it through without crying. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see here.
We weren't sure what size because they run a little big. Right, right. This is a... This it's is my a, size. This is an Extra XL. Large. It's my size. I think size. you're a large, actually. That's all. And right. actually, I like the large jacket <laughs> better anyway. Yeah. Uh, I, I just took my life off. It's fine. You're fine now. So let's try this on, and if right. it doesn't work, then we'll go with the other one. This is a smaller one. Okay. So. I'm a smaller one kind of guy. They just run big, so. That's all right. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Is that, that a good size? Good. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you're probably an extra large shirt, though, right? Sure. Because they yeah, run. Yeah, yeah, and it'll shrink, so. That's, that's perfect. Just, that's large. large. Okay. There you go, buddy. All right. So there you go. Fantastic. We'd like to say thank you. Yeah. And I, I we appreciate it, guys. That. Yeah. Hey, hey thank you, job. guys, Steve. Yeah, absolutely, and, man. You know, nice to meet nice you. Nice meeting you, everybody. Yeah, it was great meeting yeah. you. Steve. Yeah, all right. Yep. Yep, perfect. And then just follow it up. Just make sure I don't Thank hit that guy's van. Come back left. And just follow that fence line up. You're all right. I got two back. We get over there? That yeah. Stick? Yeah. Go straight across the street. All the way straight. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, I appreciate it again. Okay. Have a good night. Hey, good, good, yeah, good doing business. With yeah, you. absolutely. You too, sir.